Representative Herschel Craig brings his strong background of public service to the State House after being elected to serve constituents of the 26th House District in November 2014. Craig's commitment to the residents of Columbus began decades ago when he worked as legislative liaison for the Ohio Department of Youth Services. During his tenure at ODYS, Craig drafted legislation and secured legislative sponsorship for bills introduced in the Ohio General Assembly, including House Bill 812, which secured $83 million for much needed capital improvements to ODYS facilities. Can we say praise the Lord? <laughs> Craig continued his work with young people when he served as Director of Recruitment and Admissions for City Year, a program that recruits young adults to work full-time for one year on various social service projects around Columbus. In return, City Year Corps members receive valuable training and leadership skills that benefit them later in their professional lives. As former Executive Director of the Hilltop Civic Council, he managed a comprehensive social service agency that served 10,000 people annually in one of Columbus's historic district neighborhoods. Amen. Directing the Hilltop Civic Council's 35-person staff and administering its $1.2 million annual budget, Craig supervised programs for a comprehensive community health care center, youth and senior services, a resettlement center for new Americans, and a food and clothing pantry. Praise the Lord. As a recent Columbus City Councilman, Craig led the city's Veteran Affairs Committee to help meet the needs of veterans, service personnel, and their families. He has worked to connect veterans with existing services and resources in the community and created new initiatives like the Better Municipal Care for Veterans Home Fund, which helps veterans and their families make needed repairs to their homes. Craig was also a strong advocate for public recreation centers so children and families and seniors can access a wide range of programs and services to enhance the quality of their life. Praise the Lord. <laughs> During the, the past three decades, Craig has volunteered his time as a trustee on numerous community service boards, many focused on education. He has served as a member of the Columbus Public Schools Equity Task Force, the Columbus State Community College Department of Business and Industry Technology Curriculum Committee, the Southside Learning and Development Center's Board of Trustees, the Ohio Hunger Task Force Board of Trustees, and the Columbus Cultural Arts Center Board of Trustees. He is an all-around guy. <laughs> He is currently serving on the Board of Military Veterans Resource Center. Craig also served as board chair for the Alliance for Cooperative Justice, board chair for the Franklin County Prevention Institute, the chair of the State Education Committee for the Columbus chapter of the NAACP. Craig was named the 2011 Public Servant of the Year by Community Shares of Mid-Ohio. Praise the Lord. Representative Craig earned a Master of Science in Administration degree from Central Michigan University and was a joined together National Leadership Fellow at Boston University of Public Health. He proudly served our nation in the United States Army from 1970 to 1972. <laughs> Representative Craig is eager to use his public service experience to gain meaningful investments for our neighborhoods, to create jobs and expand the local community. Amen? His experience earned him the position of ranking member of the House Armed Services, Veterans Affairs, and Public Safety Committee. Representative Craig also serves on the Economic and Workforce Development Committee, as well as the Financial Institutions, Housing, and Urban Development Committee. In addition to serving on the aforementioned Standing House Committees, 
Representative Craig has also been appointed to the Ohio Infant Mortality Commission, the Ohio Criminal Sensen Sentencing Commission, and the Criminal Sentencing Commission Subcommittee on Juvenile Justice. He is married to Linda. Linda, stand up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Behind every good man, there's a wonderful woman, and that's her right there. They have been married for 30 years. They have known each other before that for, what, 14 years, and they dated for 14 years, you said? And he was saying he had to make sure that the Lord was bringing her to him. She had to make sure that the Lord was bringing him to her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 34 years. Come on. Together. That says a lot. Now listen to this, they have four children, they don't look like it, but they have six grandkids, and they have one great grandchild. My Bible says, what does the Lord require? To act justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly with your God, which is what you are doing. Praise the Lord. It's been my pleasure to read your bio. Ladies and gentlemen, back me up. Why don't you put your hands together and stand to your feet as we celebrate Representative Herschel Craig. Bam, bam, bam. Representative Craig, it is with great honor that we present you with the 2016 African American Achievement Award presented by Pastor John T. Boston II and the Central Seventh-day Adventist Church. Representative Craig is a preacher, and so he can take as much time as he wants within seven minutes. <laughs> but why don't you take a seat, and let's just hear a word from Representative Craig. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of the Lord abides forever. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man and the woman that walks with him. Have you not heard? Have you not seen the everlasting God? His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And those that have no might, he gives strength. Even the youth shall faint. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. And while you're clapping, would you give my pastor, my other pastor, John Boston, would you stand on your feet and honor him this morning? He truly is an erudite man. He's a man of God. He's an anointed man of God. And we're so honored and privileged to be, be with all of you this morning. What a great privilege and an honor. My mother came here as a live-in maid with everything that she had in out of Mobile from West Virginia because her father had died in the coal mines. In fact, when I was born, there were, there were no, very few men. My uncles had moved away those that had not died in the mines. And so my, my mother came here seeking, Pastor, an opportunity for her children. And I can remember my mother worked every day of her life. She retired three times. So I was thinking about that, that resume, everything that I will ever be. I owe to my mother. I was in Boy Scout troops over here at Shiloh Baptist Church. So many of those men and women did not have formal educations, deposited so much into my life. I could not even be standing here without all of them. I thought about Dr. Frank Hale when you were reading that. And for all of us that know anything about Ohio State University and the contribution that he made, 
not only in this city, but in this world. I stand up on a whole lot of folks' shoulders. So today I, I had a tear in my eye just thinking about this great honor today and this group that I would be with, all of those great folk that has already got this great honor. But all what you're doing, Pastor, and all of you in this community, in the lives of families and children, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to make a difference in their lives, to let them know it ain't over till God says it's over. And if you don't come from the right zip code, you got another zip code. God got your real zip code. I thank my wife who is with me today. This beautiful woman you see had gone through cancer, had heart condition, but God is able to do anything but fail. And as I leave you, I think about my wife when I, you know, I got my, my master's degrees and gone on to Boston University. My wife got her, her MBA, the pastor with honors, summa cum laude and all this stuff falling off of her. She graduated summa cum laude. I graduated, thank you, Lordy. So what a privilege it is to carry and believe in God. Thank you so much. I love you and thank you for this honor and this privilege.